Hey Weekly Walk viewers, happy Wednesday. It is a brisk and chilly 65-ish in Florida today, but I suppose it beats the 20 inches of snow they recently got up north, so I cannot complain. That being said, this week I had a chance to catch up with Camille Ricketts, who is head of brand at Notion, everybody's favorite productivity and collaboration app. And we had a chance to talk all things TikTok, community, and what app she can't live without outside of Notion that she assured me she was not paid to say. So anyway, check out our conversation and we'll see y'all soon. Bye guys. Walk viewers, I am here with Camille Ricketts, head of brand at Notion. And Camille, I feel like you guys were so hot in the pandemic, but also all over TikTok. Gosh, thank you for saying that. Uh, <laughs> it's been kind of wild for us to watch, to be honest. Like now there's a Notion hashtag on TikTok and has 20 million views on it. Oh my God. And it's just like boggling our minds. And Wait. also it's how I know that I'm like no longer cool because uh, <laughs> there are people who are just like showing their notion setups as they do a dance or like next to all their house plants and it gets like hundreds of thousands of views. And I'm like, I don't know what this is, but I like it. You're like, I like that I see notion and that's what's important. And I'm not even on TikTok. So you're like at least slightly cooler than I am. <laughs> So we can be like sort of cool, but like not really together. So, all right. So it's you, youthful. I know. So, all right. So you joined Notion in early 2020 to kind of, you know, build out brand and marketing. You, you have a content marketing background and then life as we know it kind of changed. And then, but, you yes. know, to what we were just saying, Notion became all of a sudden an even hotter tool than it was. So how did you and the team have to pivot, you know, your strategy around brand and marketing with the change in how people worked. Yeah, I definitely remember a conversation we had even before we all started working from home where we kind of saw the remote work shift happening. Uh, we have huge audience in APAC, for instance. And so uh, we sort of saw that starting to happen and knew it was going to be in the US as well. And Notion is a collaboration tool for teams. It's a, you know an all-in-one workspace where people can do all their notes, their project management documents, um, and that is vital for keeping communication flowing in a really healthy way, making sure people stay aligned, even though we're all working from somewhere else these days. Yeah. So yeah. you definitely saw an uptick. And what's interesting is that adoption definitely happened as people were learning how to make this work for themselves. Yeah, that's awesome. I know I, I yeah. was loosely using Notion pre-pandemic and now... Also, because I love all the folks at Notion, I, I try to, you know, remove my pen and paper and use Notion as well, or in, in addition to my pen and paper. So, awesome. Um, You're very helpful. Yeah. So awesome. somebody else can see your pen and paper. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, all right. For, for early um, product-led growth companies who don't have a large marketing team, how should they think about what to prioritize to make them as efficient as possible? I mean, I know the team wasn't, you know, super large when you joined, but you guys nice. have done so much in terms of brand and marketing. How did you do it and what advice do you have? So we've learned a tremendous amount about the power of community. And honestly, I do feel like marketing itself as a discipline is kind of pivoting in the sense that it used to be very focused on advertising and then content marketing became all the rage. And that's sort of where I cut my teeth. And now I think community marketing is the new watchword in so many ways. Um, you really need to figure out how to leverage other people who like your product to extend your brand influence. And I think that a lot of companies out there are like, oh, we don't have this ability because we're maybe like a SaaS tool that doesn't have this type of popular attraction to it. I guarantee that there are people who are wild about your tool, even if it's a small group of people so figuring out how to connect and mobilize them is a huge piece of advice that I have to share yeah did you have to change you know last year you know community historically there was just so much in person when you were thinking about your community strategy were you thinking about it from a virtual component or had it been in person and you had to pivot 
to actually um, when we started our ambassador community it was all based on in-person events and that was kind of the requirement to be an ocean yeah. ambassador was that you were going to host a certain number of these in-person events and it was so fun to see yeah. them pop up around the world and that's all had to change but it's interesting because that's unlocked so many other ways for people to participate in the notion story whether they're building templates hosting virtual yeah. events teaching courses we have people who are helping translate our help center into their native languages yeah. so that it kind of helped us diversify the ways in which community actually shows up. Yeah, I and mean, it's almost easier sometimes to build a community in a virtual setting because everyone can be anywhere. So if you're out there, find your community. It's OK, it can be <laughs> virtual. Find your people, market yes. to them. And then um, last question for you, outside of Notion, what is the one app you can't live without? So I had a very definitive answer when you asked me this beforehand, and it's just it's super, super human, like truly, honestly, and I hope that Rahul's watching this, but I could not, I could not live my life without a uh, superhuman. And um, yeah, yeah, every time I have to go back to Gmail, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, most people say like right, Waze people say, like, or Uber, but you know, superhuman also. No, I don't need to go anywhere. I want my email to be fast and beautiful. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Superhuman. I didn't even tell her to say that, but you've got a you've got a pl marketing plug right there from Camille. So awesome. They're not paying. I promise. They, yeah, they are not. This is an, a non-sponsored weekly walk. We swear. So, awesome, Camille. Yes. Thank you so much for well, not weekly walking, weekly sitting. You and you in San Francisco, and myself on a in Florida and weekly walk viewers. We'll see y'all soon. Bye guys.